My name is Minister Leon Banks, and you're watching Jolanda Way Presents. Father, we come to your throne this morning, Lord God, just asking you to forgive us for anything we might have said, done, or even thought, Lord God, that was not pleasing unto you, so our prayers can be effective, Lord God. Heavenly Father, we come to your throne this morning, Lord God, with you on our minds and you in our hearts, Lord God. Heavenly Father, I just want to rejoice this day, Lord God, just saying thank you again, Lord God for your mercy, your grace, Lord God. Thank you for this place that we're in, Chateau Del Mar, Lord God. And I thank you right now, Father God, for each and every individual that's here, Lord God, and those that are not here yet, Lord God. We thank you right now, Father God in heaven, for the blood covering them, Father God, each and every last one of us from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet on this day, Lord God. We thank you right now for our families that are not here, Lord God, and you're covering them, Father God, as, they, as we are away, Lord God. We thank you right now today, Father God, for everything that you've done in our lives, Father God, the transformations, Lord God. We thank you right now, Father God in heaven, for being God and God all by yourself, Lord God. We thank you this day, Father God in heaven, for Willie Mae Morris, Lord God. And can I get an amen for her? Amen. Lord, thank you, Lord God, for all her children, Father God, her grandchildren, Father God, her great-grandchildren, Father God in heaven. We just thank you on this day, Father God, for allowing this to happen today, Lord God, because you said it was good, Lord God, and we're going to make it come to pass, Lord God, with your help, Lord God, and the people's help, Lord God. We thank you today, Lord God. Heavenly Father, we're just thanking on you today, Father God, because we know no other way to thank you, Lord God, but to call out your name, the name of Jesus, Father God. We thank you on this day, Lord God. We thank you right now, Father God in heaven, for the food that's going to be delivered unto us, Lord God. We ask you right now, Lord God, that you remove any impurities, Heavenly Father. We thank you right now, Father God in heaven, for blessing it, Father God. Blessing all the cooks, Father God, the waiters, Father God. We just thanking you on this day, Lord God for everything, Father God, that we are about to go through today, Lord God, because we know you are leading the way, Lord God. And Father God, with that prayer, we're just asking you just to bless it, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray. And can I say amen? Amen. That was beautiful. All right, I just pray that the cook know how to season food. In Jesus' name, help us, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Don't act like you're a man in these places. You be like, Lord, what a hot Because you can say whatever you want to, we can make anything taste good. Come on now. Who came up with shrimps and grits? That was somebody that was high. He had to be. You understand me? You don't nobody think of nothing like that. That was something we did down in Louisiana. We was high. He said, we ain't got no more shrimps and some grits. They were like, put it together, mama. We're going to 
don't eat it. We don't eat cat. You understand me? See, y'all want to act bougie because you're up in here. You need to quit acting. Be yourself. You know you got some no name brand cereal on your shelf as soon as you go on. Trying to act like, where's the croissants for my salad and all that? Eat that salad. We don't even eat salad hardly no more. And you know that you get salad, man, they want to give you tomatoes. Do they, Dwayne? But Dwayne go to them good restaurants. We go to them restaurants. You be like, do, do I? How much is a tomato going to cost to put in my salad? You know what I'm saying? It's sad, but it's real, you know? We take stuff for granted. We got to remember where we come from. You know what I'm saying? You sit back and you get bougie. And you don't remember when times was hard. When some of y'all didn't even have a pillow for you was a certain age. You had a pillow slip with clothes in it. And hopefully it wasn't the dirty clothes. Yeah. Mama, my pillow smell like pee. Too bad, go to sleep. It's good for your skin. It's your little brother's thing. You know what I'm saying? See, some of y'all gonna say, uh and ah, because you didn't live like we live. We lived off government sandwiches. Some cheese that you cut too thick. It wouldn't even melt on top of the stove. You burn the bread up. You put it under the stove. I touched in kindergarten. I hope she don't come back. 
we used to grow up with digging in your navel and smelling and putting it on your brother and sister. You, know, you act like you don't know life's supposed to be hard. You know what I'm saying? In order for it to be hard, you, when it gets right, you can appreciate it. We too busy worrying about what somebody think we are, who we are, what we got. Don't worry about what somebody else got. Be grateful for whatever you got. My mama got food stamp. It was like a holiday. We be dead. We going to the store and boy, boy. And you did. Back then, you could buy food that was cooked with food stamps. You be like, man, we going to the barbecue place. We can buy anything we wanted. See, people don't understand it ain't about what tomorrow bring or what yesterday. It's about what's important today. And today we celebrate Mama Wade and all she blessed. Because it wasn't for her, wouldn't be a train way, wouldn't be a pastor, wouldn't be a dying, none of that. So act like you appreciate where we come from and quit worrying about where we going. Because today is the most important day of your life. You can make a change today. Act like it. Get up there and put $2 up there for an auction. Quit acting bougie like it ain't enough money. Anything is enough. That's our problem. We always say, when I get here, I'm going to be happy. Or when I get that, I'm going to be happy. Now you ain't. Because you ain't happy on your way going to get it. So quit. Get over there and put some money on them things. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to go there. You know what I'm saying. I'm how this medicine. I have cold. And I took too much night. You know what I'm talking about, you know. I used to take that back in the day. Well, we ain't gonna go there right now, you know. Cause I'ma let you know, I ain't up here front for no, I'ma ex everything but gay. And I ain't got nothing against gay, they just didn't give me why I was young. That's it. Look, it got quiet in here like a bug. Like, whoa, hey, whoa, hey. Y'all need to quit. I, the last thing you need to be worried about in 2019 is who somebody else sleeping with. So I'm 
I'm going to go to the store and pass all of my tests. <laughs> presents Empowered to Empower Others Here's our Live to Dream Camp Hi, my name is Diane Aldridge and um, I'm the site manager for um, the Willie Mae Morris Empowerment Center Live to Dream Summer Camp. And the summer camp is geared around the young adults coming in from One Summer Chicago. And what they do on this site is they learn how to do construction, how to do maintenance, how to do gardening. All these things are geared around us helping them and broaden their horizon to help them, you know, to just find out what is your potential in life. You know, you might want to be a construction worker. You might want to do gardening. You might want to do, you know, secretarial work. We provide all these on site. Hey, how you doing? My name is Mr. D. I'm at the Willie Mae Morris Empowerment Center, and I'm one of the instructors here that run the program for the carpentry program, the trade program. I work with the youth from uh, the little kids into the uh, young adults from the age of uh, 15 to 25 years old. I recommend this to a lot of people. Young youth, older youth, 
I mean, Mr. D taught me a lot. So when you come here, you're gonna meet powerful, amazing, awesome people that's gonna, you know, uh, give to you, you know what I'm saying? Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and teach you a trade at the same time. And now our all girls camp. We're down here doing our first Willie Mae Moore's All Star All Girls Camp. I'm telling you, man, it's turning out exactly like the Holy Ghost said it's supposed to be. The children are here, they're having fun. We have the different activities that we have set up for them. We got basketball, we got cheerleading, we got jump rope, we got volleyball, and we got fashion. So they're getting ready to do their showcase. Here's our reading program. Hold on in there. Keep the faith. Don't quit. Put all your trust in him. We held a graduation ceremony for our students that completed the reading program with positive reviews from the parents and staff. Willie Mae Morris loves sharing and feeding people, so here's our food giveaway. Today is Saturday, we're having our giveaway. It is flourishing, we got more than enough. So if you need it, come and get it. If you don't need it, find somebody who needs it, bring them down so they can come and get it. The Willie Mae Morris Foundation is a part of the giving away, it's helping to build it out even more. You know, we partner with partners in hope and we bless God for them. But my, the, the foundation that my mother is over, the Willie Mae Morris Foundation, wanted to be in and they wanted to spread it out even more. Her children are giving and giving and giving to make sure that there's food here for the people that come in. Only thing we want to do <laughs> is to help. And if this is our way of doing it, then we ask that you come and receive it. God gives and people receive that. The Willie Mae Morris Empowerment Center. We are committed to providing the programs that will empower our citizens despite the overwhelming violence and the terrible toll that it takes on our families. We strive to be part of the solution and help to overcome these challenges that our communities and families are facing. The Willie Mae Morris Empowerment Center continues to serve the community and families. To reach out and give a helping hand Please help your fellow man Reach out and give a helping hand Please help all about me it's about them and they are very important in our lives today all right as he said I was one of Willie Mae Moore's finest all right I got skills too y'all just wait y'all just wait hello everyone I am glad you all could come to help us support the Willie Mae Moore's Empowerment Center no children's make it by themselves. That is why we need your help. And I say that with heart, we need your help. Come join the village, cause I am Willie Mae, Willie Mae is within me. Willie Mae was part of the village. So we are the village keepers too, you know? So come join the village, which is the Willie Mae Morris Empowerment Center where a child can live to dream and dream to live. We have to let them know that it's all right today, that they do have help. We have to have a place so they can come and feel comfortable enough within themselves to develop who they are today. You know, and that's why we asking you guys to get on board with us. You know, let's, let's, let's connect these dots together. You know, form a line. You know, so we can be strong within. Don't let the streets take your babies. Send them to Willie Mae Moore's Empowerment Center and so we can encourage them, so they can develop their skills within their self, you know? Because, you know, quiet, you say a mouth don't get big.
bed when you're quiet, you don't open it up. We want them to develop their voice. Let them know we hear you. We got to understand. We got to listen to what they have to say today because they got a whole lot to say. But we so busy in our day-to-day -day thing, we don't take time out to listen to them. So that's why we are here today at the Willie May Morris Empowerment Center fundraiser to raise something, you know, to build something, you know, to let them know that we have a place for you. It is a place for you in society. It is a place for you in the village. Because it does take a village to raise a kid. And we want you all to get on board and join our village. Don't let it stop here. Let's keep on. Let's connect to each other. And so that is all I got to say right about now. And I thank you guys for coming out. Hi, I am Pastor Wade, known as Miss Wade of the WMMEC Empowerment Reading Program. And we are here to empower the youth that we have been blessed with this year. I'm telling you to watch how they're coming along in this room, which is the at room, where they get challenged that have really been something. So you might see me a little excited when I see them go over into another level that they didn't even know they could go over into. So we had a wonderful day today. Today was a day of comprehension, getting them to understand what they read. We did dictionary day with two of them, get, teaching them what the top words mean, which is they call guide words, and how each letter would lead them to the word. And for them to find the word, it was just so, so exciting. We teach them also how to spell words. We give them vocabulary. They go and they learn how to uh, uh, they memorize these words. They put these words in their in their memory bank, and then they take them words and they go and they we give them a little spelling test on it. And they have been doing great. I'm telling you, we're just here in day uh, one, two, three, four for day five, and it's just really been a great, great day, a great, great time. I'm enjoying it. I don't do it by myself. I have Miss Lisa with me. God brought her on the team. We also have Miss Rose, who was the one who went alongside of me, and we brought this school to fruition and it's been great. God has given us also another beautiful individual named Miss Yolanda. She comes and she do the lap, uh, the laptops that God blessed us with. So lap day is tomorrow. Friday we're having reading day where one of the uh, young men is coming and he's, his name is Jamon Cook from Ken Folks. And Jamon is coming in here and he's gonna be reading to the youth and he's gonna tell a little bit about his story to keep our youth focused and stay on the right track. I'm telling you, that's all we're trying to do here. Empower the youth. Thank you for trusting us with your second grader, your third grader, and your fourth grader. And we will do all that we believe we can do. We love you. Remember, the Willie Mae Morris Empowerment Reading Program. Go, go to her page, subscribe, become one of the people that follow her. We make sure these children can have everything that they need in order to become super, super smart in this world that we're in. Amen? Amen. Once again, I am passed away in school. They call me Miss Wade, but we're getting it on. And we love learning. Bless you.